One of the states that Donald Trump won last night, North Carolina, edging out Ted Cruz there. Proportional delegate allocation, so they both leave with delegates, but still yet another state uh, in Donald Trump's pocket. Joining us now from Raleigh is Dallas Woodhouse. He's the executive director of the North Carolina Republican Party. First of all, Mr. Woodhouse, thanks for staying up. Great to have you here right. with us live this morning. Really appreciate it. Uh, your state, it was close, but Donald Trump did win as he has won so many other places. What's going on? Well, I think the, the real story we saw tonight in North Carolina is the incredible amount of people that voted Republican in the state. Um, we actually had more people vote Republican in North Carolina than the Democrats did by about 10,000, 11,000 votes. There are 700,000 more registered Democrats in the state of North Carolina than there are Republicans. The Democrats are down uh, about 400,000 votes from their last contested primary election in 2008. Our side is up 500,000. You're talking a net swing of 900,000 for Republicans. Also, uh, Republicans are up 155,000 since 2012. So uh, Mr. Cruz and Mr. Trump both campaigned in North Carolina. Uh, Trump campaigned a lot. Uh, he did pull out the victory. Both are going to win a significant amount of delegates. But what we're seeing now is just an incredible amount of enthusiasm for Republicans. And we saw that at the polls with real live people showing up to vote. So what's driving that enthusiasm? I mean, when we look at the exit polling across the board, it's the economy and jobs that are the, are the most pressing issue for people. When we look at, in exit polling in North Carolina in particular, it looks like almost 7 out of 10 North Carolina voters um, said that they support a, a temporary ban on, on Muslims coming into the United States. That is a signature Trump issue. Is it Trump's issues like that that are drawing these new voters in? Well, I think there's a couple things. I think we have a broad selection of candidates, ones that are still in the race. And I think Republicans generally like their candidates. And I think one of the important things to know tonight is that so many of the unaffiliated pulled the Republican ballot. Now, they can pick one, which one to, to vote in, and they decided to vote Republicans because those candidates are more interesting. I think people think the Republican will win in November. And if you're on the Democrat side, you have um, Hillary Clinton, who's been around forever, and Bernie Sanders, who's an utter socialist. So I think our side is simply more attractive. And I think it bodes very well for Republicans in North Carolina, which will be a swing state again. It was the closest state in the last two presidential cycles. It bodes very well that we had a higher proportion of unaffiliated vote for us uh, on our side tonight. All right, you are a party official in North Carolina. Party officials are going to be very, very important over the next several months leading into the convention in Cleveland. If it is a contested convention, which is the only way, by the way, that John Kasich will end up with the nomination, maybe the only way that Ted Cruz at this point ends up with the nomination. So a contested convention very much in play right now. As a party official in North Carolina, how do the delegate rules work in your state? A lot of us, you, you may not even know, it's hard to know. It's state by state rules. Um, will they be bound? How many ballots are they bound in Cleveland? And do you think, as a party official, uh, that it's fair that it go to a contested convention? Well, I support the rules that were adopted by the Republican National Committee. They are debated by a broad section of uh, Republican Party activists and delegates uh, across the country. And uh, we have rules for a reason. Uh, and ultimately, I trust the voters uh, who are all, uh, and delegates to uh, figure this out. And I think uh, we'll come out with a strong nominee uh, out of Cleveland, and I think we'll be unified. I I'm interested, Mr. Woodhouse, in your thoughts just looking back over the past nine months or a year. I mean, you couldn't have predicted back then where we would be today. You're a veteran of politics. Uh, this has been such an interesting uh, – the rule book has been thrown out, hasn't it? You know, it really has, and I, I've done a lot of different things. I've worked as a television reporter covering campaigns years ago. I've uh, worked in uh, political nonprofits, and it is an exciting time. You know, it is uh, live television drama every night. It's unscripted. Uh, the voters are, are, are sending messages, but they're not all sending the same messages. Uh, what I would say is I do believe that it is good on our side 
that we have people coming to our side uh, to vote. Uh, and, and here's a little interesting tidbit about North Carolina. Forty years ago, uh, we had a primary roughly about this same time where um, Ronald Reagan uh, won North Carolina to save his political career. See, we normally have our primaries in May. We're in March this time. And so I think voters in our state, uh, unique to us, are just particularly excited about being able to weigh in on the presidential race in, in an early, uh, important time. Because a lot of times, by the time it's gotten to us, it's been over. So I think that's one reason we're, we're seeing the enthusiasm. And our people have just in, enthusiastically embraced uh, the, the early primary and, uh, and just came come out in droves. I mean, just extremely high percentage of uh, of voters. I mean, and I just got to think that the Democrats are down 400,000 uh, from 2008 in a state that is growing by leaps and bounds. I mean, the right. fact we outvoted them tonight is really incredible. It's just unprecedented. They have a 700,000 uh, registration advantage on us. It's All just right. unbelievable. Yeah, we heard the same thing from Florida. We were yeah. talking to the chairman down there and a lot of credit. Uh, from the chairman of Florida, went to Donald Trump for exciting the voters. Donald Trump winning North Carolina, winning Florida as well. Dallas Woodhouse, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for getting up early for your enthusiasm. Or staying up late. Either <laughs> or way. Or staying up. up. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Dallas Woodhouse. Let's bring our panel.